Hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Lakia and welcome to the Chaotic Critic family. For my returning subscribers, welcome back. Here on my channel, I share planning and organizational videos, plus so much more over on my blog, chaoticcritic.com. The link is always in the description box. The whole premise of my channel is to share with you guys how I'm crushing the chaos in my life with hopes that you'll be inspired and encouraged to crush the chaos in yours. In today's video, it is going to be another edition in my home office revamp series. Episode one, I shared with you guys a general clean with me. Episode two was all about organizing my planner stash. Episode three was about creating a system on my desk so that it wouldn't get cluttered, but that I'd still have easy access to my frequently used tools and pens and all my other accessories. And now we're going to be getting into some decor. I have a lot more purging that I need to do in my office, but I need to also just feel good working in this space. And I have a lot of decor that's just not, it's not working for me. I had this around the world theme years ago and I'm just not in that place anymore. And I'm not even a traveler to begin with. So I don't know why I had the around the world theme. It all started with this letter with my initial that I found at Target on clearance that had like the map on it. And then I was like, I'll just do an around the world theme centered around that. <sighs> yeah. Hence, I also hence I also collect keychains. So that was like another thing. But I'm going to share with you guys the decor that I currently have. And then we're going to get into my new solution. Okay, so first up is this frame here. And I used to have my vision board on it. I will link below some videos for you guys to check out and see. <laughs> Yeah. So this I'm thinking of just having a white background and putting Crush the Chaos and it's something that is directly behind me but if I'm filming this way you guys be, would be able to see it as well and I'm thinking of also putting Crush the Chaos on my gallery wall so I just want to put Crush the Chaos everywhere but that's what I'm thinking of doing with this frame because I really do like it and I do want to have something on this portion it's a lot of blank space here, but I don't want to keep it too cluttered. But that's what I'm thinking of doing with Over that. here. I have this shelf. Um, I have another shelf that's exactly like it next to it, but it has some other personal stuff. But I collect mugs. So I have mugs here. I'm a huge Steelers fan. A lot of my Steelers stuff is actually in my bedroom. And then I have that canvas back there that I covered with Happy Planner paper. And then I just printed out a map of the United States. And I'm like, ooh, let me just document all the states that I've been to. Clearly... I'm an East Coast girl. I also have family photos around my office here and there from my childhood. Um, and then over here, I have mugs. So these shelves I'm going to be doing something with. And then this was really the around the world kind of thing, whatever. So here we have this. I really just liked it because it had Pittsburgh on it, but I'm thinking of painting this. I love the box. I love this little section, this little corner, but I'm thinking of painting this all black. Yep, that's what I'm thinking of doing. And then I have these little hexagon shelves. I don't know if I'm going to keep these or donate them or what. I don't know yet, but this is where my gallery wall is going to go. And the initial is going to be coming down. I'm also thinking about painting this uh, not sure what color I would paint it, but I'm thinking of that. And this is not something that I'm keeping. I would definitely donate it. Hi, guys. But yeah, I would definitely donate this. But I'm not sure about the hexagons at all, if I would keep them for a future project or not. I'm also not trying to keep things in hopes that I will figure out what I'm going to do with them. But the L, I would definitely paint over and incorporate into the gallery wall. And I love this little shelf thing. My little Steelers guys are probably going to stay here. But um, because I have to keep Steelers everywhere. It's just who I am. But I'm definitely thinking of painting the back of that black. But that's the current state of the decor in my office. All right, as for the gallery wall that I'm going to be creating, as I mentioned, that is going to have Crush the Chaos in it. But the gallery wall that I'm doing, I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on creating something in a space that I won't be here forever. So I took an inexpensive route and I went to Dollar Tree to get some frames. I got all the same frames as far as the border, just this very, very sleek black. 
I got four of the three by five. I meant to get two, three. Well, it's actually three and a half by five inches, but I meant to get two of the three by five, two, four by six, two, five by seven and two, eight by 10. But the eight by 10 frame, I only was able to find one. So if I look around and find another one, then I'll add it in, but it's not that big of a deal. The five by seven ones are a decent size. And then these, even though the inside is three and a half by five, I could also just kind of turn this into a four by six in a sense by not using the white frame around it and just having the picture take up the whole frame and just have the actual, um, have it take up the whole inside, I should say. Not like the border and the border, you know what I'm saying? Um, so if I find four by six, I'll see if there's a real difference, but I really thought I picked up two of each. But anyway, so with these, I'm going to put quotes inside of them and it's a very, very common and easy vision, um, gallery wall concept. And so that's that. And I was thinking, okay, I can just print stuff off, but I also just wanted to look and see what I had. So one of the things I'm going to do is reuse some of the stuff that I have from like old planners so this is all stuff from the happy planner planner from 2000 happy planner classic planner from 2017 and I actually revamped this planner when I was doing my makeshift uh happy uh, my classic happy planner with like the hourly and stuff I'll link those videos for you to check out but these dashboards are good to like use again. So here's one I could layer with this gold. I actually like this quote. It says, everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. This one is not one that I would use, but just an example of what the dividers are looking like. When in doubt, dance it out. I'm not using that one either. But this one, you were born to be real, not to be perfect. I am going to end up cutting that down. So those are three. And then I also have the Maxi Life Planner that I reviewed. I am using this and testing this out and playing around with it. But the dividers are great. And they have some good quotes on here that I can cut down and put into the frame. So... If you guys would like a peek at this, I'll link the review below. But this is just a great way for me to use what I have. If there are things that I want to print out, fine. But I am a quote kind of girl. I thrive off quotes. So I'm going to start with this and see how far I get. Let's go.
Okay, so here is what I finished so far. I have four of those three and a half by five inch frames and two of them, these are dividers from Happy Planner. This one says, everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. And this one, you were born to be real, not to be perfect. Then these two are from the Maxi Life dividers and the frames are kind of scratched up, but we're gonna go with it. Be not afraid of growing slowly. Be afraid only if standing still. And then the other, when we strive to become better than we are, everything around us becomes better too. So these are a little, I may go back in and kind of shift this one over just a smidge, but that's that. Then for the five by seven ones, this is another Maxi Life divider. Dream big, live with intention, dare to grow, embrace the struggle, be kind to yourself, know your worth, practice gratitude, find your joy, design your life, just begin. And then this was the other happy planner, uh, dashboard that I had and I put it inside of here. I was hoping that I'd be able to stretch it across the whole frame and not have this white border but because of the way that the monthly tab was I wasn't able to do that but it still works and I'm going to go ahead and layer how I did with this larger frame. I'm going to go ahead and layer some wall decals and some other poster stickers that I have. So this is the eight and a half by, I think it's eight and a half by 10. And I put scrapbook paper in the back and then I took the wall decal that said live every moment, laugh every day and love beyond words. And I stuck that to the glass itself and the scrapbook paper is inside. So if I ever wanna use this or switch out the paper, I have the flexibility to do that. I plan on doing the same thing with this one to put something here. Majority of these have that white border, the Maxi Life ones, and then the Happy Planner ones fit perfectly in these frames. I did go ahead and get some new ones. I did get two of the 4x6. I found what I was looking for. I believe these are the ones that I have. But just to see the difference in comparison to the 3x5. It's a little bit bigger. And then in comparison to the five by seven, that's the difference. So with these, I'm going to do either another divider or something else, some scrap of paper. So I got those two and then I also got these larger 11 by 14 inch ones. The one behind me, I realize, does not have a glass in it. And it's a little bit bigger than an 11 by 14, but I really do want to put Crush the Chaos inside of these. And I'm going to try and use poster board stickers. I think I have enough. So I just need paper big enough to fit inside of here. And I was hoping this is perfect. This is the poster board from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to put this inside as just a bl blank surface. And then um, how I did with the wall decals, I'm gonna put it on the glass. This way, if I do want to change out the paper, I have the flexibility to do so. So this might be twice in my office. I'm just gonna make one for now and see how it looks and I'll show you guys the progress of that. So there is the finished result of the gallery wall. I still need to paint that box, but I'll get to that. In total to make this gallery wall, it cost me $11. I have nine frames and then two wall decals, so a total of $11. One of the wall decals I kept in its entirety, the Live Laugh Love. And then the stay humble, be kind, work hard was one that I then split into three different frames. And the other ones that have quotes in them are either from Happy Planner dashboards or the Maxi Life dashboards. And that is it, making use of what it was that I had and making this gallery wall. And I love how it turned out. Now let me show you the Crush the Chaos one. So this one is not completely done, but 
The same concept of how I took the wall decals and put scrap of paper inside of the frame and put the wall decals on the glass is the same thing I did with this one. Now this is not a wall decal. These are actually binder, binder, poster board stickers and I just put crush the chaos and I'm thinking of putting a black border of some sort but that is poster board with poster board stickers on the glass so that is an 11 by 14 frame and it turned out pretty good if I say so myself so that is it for that DIY I hope you guys enjoyed it I love how the gallery wall turned out the one in the back I am going to figure out something to do with that the other frame that I had it in it just wasn't working for me I have another 11 by 14 frame I don't want to really add anything else to that gallery wall because I'm then going to turn that into a spot where I can film face-to-face -face videos because I don't have a spot like that in my office what is my hair doing there we go so um in part two of this deco video you'll see the updates on the frame and what i'm doing to the shelves because that's something else that i am reorganizing i'm trying to think do i want to put one here so i do have this other frame i was also thinking of putting something below that or on top of it to add a little something extra but i'm not sure yet but the gallery wall was what i wanted more than anything else in the office redesign so that's that. I hope that it inspires you to look at what you have and to search the Dollar Tree before you start spending a whole bunch of money on decor. So again, that cost me $11 to do that gallery wall. And I recycled a lot of what I already had in my stash. And then that one back there was $2, give or take $3, because I had two of the poster board stickers and I had to take from two of them. So I would say in total for all of the letters that I had going on, it depends on the phrase that you want to put, but the frame plus the white poster board, that's $2. And I would say $5 total to make something like that. So that is it. I'm happy with the results. I hope that this was helpful to you guys. So that wraps it up for this video. I hope that you found that helpful. I am so happy with how the gallery wall turned out. No, I did not measure anything. I eyeballed it like I do with everything else. And I love the way that it turned out. I am going to be fixing this Crush the Chaos one. I'm just not sure exactly what I want to do to it. But I'm thinking of putting like a black kind of frame on the poster board itself just to give it a little more dimension to it. So that's what I'm thinking of. But when I do part two of this decor portion of the series and then you guys will see my shelves and then other updates I have made to the walls so that is what is coming next and then after I decorate my shelves it's just a matter of purging and getting things out of my office my guest room has just turned into the loading zone for um all of the things that are being donated if it's trash it goes out but if we can donate it later on once everything settles down then we will do that and um yeah so it's all in my guest room just waiting just waiting to leave just waiting to go so that's that a lot of the and then a lot of the planner related stuff I save to give back to you guys I'm not doing any giveaways at this moment because I just don't want to go to the post office but um giveaways will be coming soon I would say once the stay-at-home order is lifted in my area then maybe I'll feel comfortable going to the post office when I go back to work which is not in the next month so yeah uh maybe I'll do that but a lot of the planner stuff that I have that I don't use I always want to give it back to you guys but that's why I haven't been giving anything away lately for obvious reasons but that's that I love how this is turning out I hope you guys are enjoying this series feel free to leave any questions or suggestions you have down in the comment section do you guys like the gallery wall would you do something like this what Dollar Tree DIYs have you tried would love to chat with you in the comment section be sure to check out all the links in the description box which have links to related videos products I featured and of course the blog and Instagram the blog is chaoticcritic.com my Instagram is at chaoticcritic if you're not subscribed 
subscribe to the Chaotic Critic fam. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And for all of you that are, I thank you. I love you guys. I appreciate you so much. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.